So tonight we went over a few different turns. The first one was the tuck turn. From closed position it looks like this. Slow, slow, slow rock, rock, step, tuck, turn, rock, step. From another angle, it looks like this. Slow, slow, rock, step, tuck, turn, rock, step. So breaking that down on the first slow after our rock step, we are connecting here. Leaders, you're bringing your left arm up into a high five position. And then you're going to draw a circle over your follow's head to guide her to turn out high. Bring the arm down at the end of the turn and rock step in. The second turn was uh, what we call the L Cool J turn. It looks like this with the basic on top. Slow, slow, rock step, slow, slow, rock step, frizzy, toss, rock step. So this uh, was kind of a two part turn, so we'll break down each one. From the basic on top, slow, leaders on rock the rock step, step you switch slow, the left arm up to catch or follows the left arm. The second basic footwork, you're going to step through on the slow, follows, stepping around to face your slow, lead on the second slow, and both of you rock step in place, step. facing the same direction. So I rotate just a little bit over my right shoulder in order to look in the way that she's facing. From here, we com complete this turn with the rock step. Rock As step. for the rock step, Matt is going to guide my arm in so that it preps me for the frisbee turn. And again, we're here for the slow step, the second slow step, we turn and face our partner, and then rock, rock step in place. So from another direction, the turn looks like this. Slow, slow, slow rock, rock step, step switch slow, the hand. Slow, rock, rock step, frisbee, slow, slow, rock step. The last move we taught was a dip that comes out of closed position, and it looks like this. Slow, slow, rock, step, dip. Uh, so a few things to talk about. First thing is leads, you're going to take your left arm and guide her arm to come around your neck. Then you're going to continue that rotation in and down, making sure that your legs are spread enough and knees are bent enough so that you can dip down without hurting your back. Follows. Important things for you as you rotate in and bend down, you're going to keep your right leg underneath yourself so that you're supporting your own weight and not throwing your back into the dip. Uh, and I think that that's all. That was it. Thank you. Thank you guys.